What does LDAP stand for? A. Lightweight Directory Authentication Protocol B. Lightweight Directory Access Protocol C. Local Data Access Protocol D. Local Directory Authentication Protocol. Answer. B. Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. Which of the following is a security control that monitors and analyzes network traffic for potential security threats? A. IDS B. IPSC, VPND, ACL. Answer. A. IDS. What is the purpose of a firewall in a network? A. To encrypt data packets B. To prevent unauthorized access to or from a network C. To authenticate users D. To filter spam emails. Answer. B. To prevent unauthorized access to or from a network. Which of the following is an example of a physical security control? A. Antivirus software B. Biometric authentication C. Security guard D. Intrusion detection system. Answer. C. Security guard. What does the CIA triad represent in the context of information security? A. Confidentiality, integrity, availability B. Certification, identification, authorization C. Control, inspection, assessment D. Compliance, implementation, analysis. Answer. A. Confidentiality, integrity, availability. Which of the following is a type of malware that encrypts files on a victim's computer and demands payment for decryption? A. Virus B. Worm C. Trojan D. Ransomware. Answer. D. Ransomware. Which of the following is a best practice for secure password management? A. Using the same password for multiple accounts B. Storing passwords in plain text format C. Changing passwords every few years D. Using complex passwords containing a mix of letters, numbers, and special characters. Answer. D. Using complex passwords containing a mix of letters, numbers, and special characters. Which of the following is a type of authentication based on something the user knows? A. Biometric B. Token C. Password D. Smart card. Answer. C. Password. What is the purpose of a VPN, virtual private network? A. To secure wireless networks B. To provide remote access to a private network over a public network C. To filter web traffic D to authenticate users. Answer. B. To provide remote access to a private network over a public network. Which of the following is a security principle that states that users should only have access to the resources necessary to perform their job functions? A. Least privilege B. Defense in depth C. Separation of duties D. Mandatory access control. Answer. A. Least privilege. What is the purpose of encryption? A. To prevent unauthorized access to data B. To compress data for storage C. To increase the speed of data transmission D. To authenticate users. Answer. A. To prevent unauthorized access to data. Which of the following is a common security control used to protect against buffer overflow attacks? A. Antivirus software B. Intrusion Detection System C. Firewalls D. Input Validation. Answer. D. Input Validation. What is the primary purpose of a Certificate Authority? CA. A. To manage network traffic B. To issue digital certificates C. To authenticate users D. To encrypt data transmissions. Answer. B. To issue digital certificates. Which of the following is a secure method for disposing of sensitive information stored on a hard drive? A. Overriding the data multiple times B. Deleting the files using the operating system's delete function C. Moving the files to the recycle bin D. Formatting the hard drive. Answer. A. Overriding the data multiple times. Which of the following is an example of a type of network attack that involves intercepting and altering communication between two parties? A. DOS B. Man in the middle, mighty M. C. 
Spoofing D. Phishing. Answer. B. Man in the middle, my DM. What is the purpose of a security policy in an organization? A. To regulate employee working hours B. To outline guidelines and procedures for protecting information assets C. To manage financial transactions D. To monitor network traffic. Answer. B. To outline guidelines and procedures for protecting information assets. Thank you for watching Cyber Trainer. Like and subscribe.